Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Slavik. Good to see everybody. And of course, welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Also, I want to say thank you to all of you that support my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Okay, my wonderful collectives, let's start. What messages do I have for you? What messages do I have for you, my wonderful collectives? Sexual desire, signs, and we have punish, punish, revenge. Someone's here is trying to punish you, punishing you, blaming you, blaming you for things potentially not working out with their partner because of you, okay? I feel like the whole punishment thing that I see right now is because somebody here sexually desires you potentially or the whole punishment uh, that was plotted against you was because of some sort of intimate sexual connection and sexual chemistry that you shared with somebody here. Um, right away, punish, revenge. Somebody's trying here to seek revenge against you, okay? Synchronicity means that you were tuned in. Tune in. You may see a sign such as 111, 1111, 222, or 333 as a confirmation. Someone here wants revenge. Revenge, or this has already have happened. Maybe someone already did cause you harm and try to punish you because somebody here um, had a desire to be with you. This is someone from that individual inner circle. We have blood ties here. Family, family, that uh, community, family, inner circle, that very in tune on finances. We will dig into the situation, into the story more into depth. Take a look exactly who's trying to punish you, why they're trying to punish you. Maybe this has already happened. So what was this punishment? What was this punishment? What was this punishment? Text messages here. Unsend text messages. Music. Single. Inner knowing. I think you already know. I think you already know this information. Someone's trying to get a hold of you, but you don't want to. You don't want to have nothing to do with it because you understand that this connection or this person from your past is connected to this toxic uh, people, or maybe the person from your past in relationship with this toxic female. Okay, there is a toxic relationship karmic relationship okay i feel like this family whoever this family is um are your enemies your number one enemies and of course they're trying to punish you here i see you're single you're not in a relationship potentially you feel free you feel happy you're okay with where you're at you're healing right you're healing you're concentrating on yourself you're concentrating on inner growth so you don't really care about this situation. You don't care about these karmics. But this enemy just angry. Just angry here. Obsessed. Obsessed with causing you harm. All right. Let's take a look. Well, who is this enemy? Who is this enemy? And why are you trying to punish my collectives? Who is this enemy? What is this about? Ten of Swords, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, a female. Female is your enemy. She comes up as a Queen of Wands. She wants revenge. She's toxic. She's abusive. She caused you problems in the back for in the past for a very long time. She wants to complicate your life. Some sort of female here. Female that, like I said, potentially have some sort of stability, financial stability. Uh, but this is, I see, ending for her. I see ending for her. She's obsessed. She wants you restrained. She wants you suffer. Because, once again, you cross her path. You cross her path. Very big ego. 
narcissistic individual. She wants to complicate your life, but she doesn't know how to do it. My two of swords, she does not know how to do it. But she is your enemy. And she wants revenge. She wants revenge. Obsessed with you, with your energies. Obsessed with how unique, beautiful, intellectual, kind, loving person you are. She doesn't like the fact that you healed from some sort of karmic, toxic relationship. Right? So she's right now running around, threatening, threatening you, maybe gossiping about you, saying, watch your back, yada, yada, yada. But once again, nothing works here. Nothing works. She's obsessed. She's obsessed. She wants you to be detained. She wants you to suffer. She wants to restrain your, restrain your life. But there is three tenths here, meaning it's an ending. See, an ending. This justice card is coming in here. She will no longer be able to manipulate you. She maybe was uh, status, financially stable. She might have connection, uh, financial connection, like a power, financial power, financial connection. But I see this is ending for her. This is ending. She's going to lose that stability. Okay. Why are you so obsessed with punishing my collectives here? I know the devil... Um, devil here was also here it's all about she's an balanced individual she have some sort of disorder she reckless maybe she has a, some mental disorder she lacks perspective in life she's self-indulgent um clashing clashing of interest she may have some sort of imbalances mental imbalances or she's just not not case crazy crazy person so she she wants revenge. She wants revenge because unhappy family. This is could be could be a current person of your ex that interfered in a relationship. Okay. Like how interfered in a relationship? She's seen potentially that you had good relationship with this ex of yours. She had money, okay? She said, I want the same thing. How come? I have money, I have connection, I have financial opportunities, I have business opportunities, but I don't have love. So this lunatic decides to interfere and decides to punish you just because she feels like it, just because she wants to, okay? And yet she continuously trying to seek revenge against you because that ex potentially sexually desires you still, okay? She may know that. So she's not a stupid woman here, okay? We have pentacles here. She has financial stability here. There's no doubt about it. But she simply does not have love. It's a broken home. It's a dysfunctional family. Unhappy family. This balanced family. And of course, instead of blaming herself for all the bad luck and bad troubles in her life, Right? All the delays, all the setback, you're interfere, you're a terrible person, you need to be punished. She blames you. She doesn't blame herself, right? She doesn't blame herself. She blames you for all. You are the cause of all of her problems. You understand the mentality of this female here? You are the problem. The partner does not want her. You are the problem. He's thinking of you. You are the problem. Big ego right big ego here so she's like i said so delusional that she blaming you for everything for everything for bad luck for unhappy family there is still unhappy family here broken family you're the one responsible for this this is all of your fault she have absolutely no direction and of course there's this masculine coming up here king of cups right Because you are the reason. Everything would have been fine if you weren't around. If you weren't nowhere near this person. Okay, she's that's a disbalanced person. Disbalanced person. That's what I get. But like I said, she she can't. She she can't do anything. She can't. She wants to complicate your life. She can simply because you don't care. You let go. I feel like you're healing already. You let go. But she cannot. What else can you tell me about her? 
it takes to someone is not committed in complete and conflict. Like I said, inst instead of blaming herself, why her happy family so-called is not happy and dysfunctional, she blames you, but she doesn't understand that it takes two to make something unhappy. But she blames you for all the problems. You are the problems. Okay? She may be potentially blaming you that the masculine become distant so far away physically and emotionally. Okay? So once again, who she blames? You. You for everything. Because masculine is becoming distant. Because money only goes so far, right? Let's take a look. What was this um, relationship built for this female and this king of cups? What is this relationship is based on? Tell me, what is this relationship is based on? Because I know she has, by Ten of Pentacles, money. She give him some sort of financial growth, opportunity, business opportunity. Maybe introduce him to some sort of different circle of wealthy people or wealthy individuals, right? So she given him this financial opportunities. But when it comes on personal love life, no. See, it's difficult. Tana wants difficult burdens. Burdens. She thought it's going to be easy to get rid of you, okay? To get rid of you. But you can buy love. But she physically, like I said, restrained this masculine um, by offering him some sort of financial stability. Deep down, there's no, there's no happy family here. What kind of relationship between this king, queen of wands and this king of cups? We have offer, high priestess, queen of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Well, this individual is sinking, sinking, sinking about somebody else in secret. And she knows that. She knows that. See? This masculine sinking in secret, like I said, secretly having feelings to a high priestess queen of pentacles. And have been for a while. So there is a secret feelings. And like I said, she potentially knows that. That he's desiring you. Like he's not going to tell her. Tell her. Look. Uh, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm feeling. But she knows. Because she's not an idiot. Okay. She knows. There's no need to underestimate her. She understands. She knows. She's been around. So. Um, she feels like she is being rejected. And she doesn't understand. In her mind she thought. Well, I should have been loved. I should have been um, given everything, but I'm not. And yet, I'm giving this financial opportunity as of pentacles. Why am I not recognized as a woman of heart here, see? And there is a destruction coming in her life. So there is definitely transformative periods that are coming in for this queen of wands transformative periods she's not happy because she knows right and like i said she's blaming you so you're pretty much being punished you're being punished because masculine here uh secretly thinking about you potentially okay and she's obsessed there's a delusional obsession what else we have crossroads we have bears. We have Lily. She's going to leave you. She's going to leave you alone, okay? She's going to leave you alone. This is a sketchy individual here. But she will have no choice but to leave you alone. She potentially spreads a, a lot of rumors about you. Because once again, she wants to be important. She wants to be better. So whatever she started in the past to seek revenge against you and punish you, it's all will be exposed. It's all based on, like I said, gossip and slander, uh, fakeness, two-face, revenge. She never wanted to be number two. Okay, so she have done a lot of, a lot of lies here about you in the past. And yeah, masculine potentially is with her, but 
deep down there's this secret secret thought about this queen of pentacles so i'm assuming this is could be you what else this masculine here high priestess and queen of pentacles i'm sorry apology apology would like to say sorry to you maybe potentially marriage divine timing blessing happiness cheating maybe this individual maybe you were married to this individual and this individual betray you with this other woman or this is also could be the fact that um, you are going to marry somebody else see or maybe this person lied to you lied that they're gonna marry you right that you're gonna have this beautiful relationship with each other or that you're gonna have a beautiful family with each other and it was lies and on top of that these lies that were created by this fire sign female and this acts of yours lead to some legal disputes you suffered you had you all these bullshit lies and slander only cause more obstacle obstacles in your life so he's a liar too he lied he cheated on you he broke your trust he potentially was along with this other female all along who was highly obsessive and possessive with this, with this masculine that you were dating and she wanted to get rid of you but she's a snake it's not what it looked like okay it's not what it looked like you potentially thought of your ex also as a good decent person but he turned out to be highly immature and a liar. They cause you problems here. And legal disputes. They, you only gain troubles. By, by trying to help this snake, that cheater. You only gain more problems. That you never even deserved. But once again, this is all this toxic lunatic here. Because I feel like she's so obsessed. Was this masculine that honestly it's not even funny this is some sort of sick sick unhealthy obsession obsession with with your life you understand and causing you harm we will take a look uh what legal dispute this enemy have caused you what kind of legal dispute this enemies have brought into your life because they're all, like I said, friends. They've been in a very close circle. It's not a stranger. It's someone that is very, very close to your ex that brought all these problems and lies. And uh, you, that ex is also lied. So is this other female here. Maybe some other people involved here. Everybody lied here. So let's take a look. What was this lies about? What was this lies about here, legally? Legally, something, your name was slandered. You were entrapped, set up. This ex potentially lied and did not tell the truth. It was all, like I said, pre-planned. See, six of ones. Pride, delays, doubt. You were ignored. Your truths were ignored. Your truths were ignored. Even though you were truthful. Three of Pentacles. Lack of skill. Sloppy. Group conflict. It was a sloppy investigation here. Whoever was assigned to investigate... This slanderous bullshit against you, this corruption against you, did a sloppy work. We legally call it fishing expedition. Called, in other words, we call it carding, profiling. Okay? You were profiled. So it was intentionally was done sloppy. If detectives that were, like I said, investigating all this slander and bullshit done by this family that supposedly looked happy, right? They're not happy. They're disbalanced family. 
but on, uh, to, to the public and in the community, they want to present the idea of very happy family, right? That they're blessed family, that they're committed to each other, that they're God generous to the community. But deep down, it's a broken, sick, unhealthy family. Family or marriage or relationship that based only on finances and financial opportunities. And a female that, like I said, connected to this ex, sociopath, blamed you for everything. For the fact that she's not truly loved. Even though it does takes two, right? So there's still a judgment that's going to be in your situation that will prevail. Awakening, right? Assessment. So this legal matter and this slappy intentional investigation that was done against you it will be reassessed and reevaluated and of course the detectives will find out that all the slander that was done against you was a lie see we have 10 of pentacles problems failures unstable it's an individual that are unstable and incompetent on in the first place. Maybe they might have been not competent on the first place to testify. Maybe it was done through friendships. Word to mouth. There was a mistake in this legal matter that was done against you. And of course, as a result of this sloppy fishing expedition, you suffered. You suffered. But no... The justice will be served. There is a justice card here. On top of this toxic lunatic female here. Jealous. Materialistic. Moody. Foolish. She's a fool. And there is this masculine over here. Both of them. Cold. Unemotional. Unintelligent. Has no control. All over the place. So this couple over here. Uh, they will be charged, they will be prosecuted for being obsessed with your life, for trying to destroy your life, for causing chaos in your life. They were obsessed with you. They're all they're all lied. They all lied because because they're tyranny. There was a tyranny here involved against you. Self destruction, tyranny, disaster. Chaos. They brought chaos into your life. This two female. Earth sign and king of cups. Water sign and pentacles. Both in reverse. Devil's upright. But both of them are in reverse. They're, this female is so jealous of you that it's not even funny. Very, very, very jealous. What is her problem? What is her problem? So a little description of her. She is materialistic. She likes to shove off her money. She likes to be around people that she can take advantage of, that she can use in her advantage to once again show her competence. King of Cups is an unbalanced mentally individual, obsessed with you as well. And both of them, like I said, team up to cause you harm, to lie. Liars. We also have police. Sloppy investigation done by a cop. Routine. Mechanical. Okay. So instead of the cops to do their job right. To actually find out and call out this visual cycle of pattern of abuse. They, they were mechanical. They didn't do their job correctly. They fucked up. They fucked up. And they allowed these lunatics. Two losers over here. To continue causing you harm by being obsessed with you. Because these cops are incompetent. They didn't know what the fuck they're doing. I feel like every complaint they did mechanical process. They didn't spoke to you. They didn't investigate. They didn't ask any questions. They didn't gather any evidence. Because all the evidence that these two lunatics have presented all based on bullshit. Is their delusional obsessed be behavior. So these cops are, like I said, they will be brought to justice. This vicious cycle of this, uh, you know, trying to win, trying to punish you is coming to an end. Both of these individuals are highly obsessive and delusional. And, and they are tyranny. They want to destroy your life. They're tyrants. 
They're sickles. Sick. A bitch that thinks she's better than you. Okay, who was in competition here with you potentially. And there's this other masculine here. Choosing, could not figure it out who to be with. Right? What competition? On top of that, she's diva thinking that she's going to run for a mayor of the city. Because she's that great. Once again, incompetence. Everything I see here is lack of competence on all level. I'm not even mentioning here spirituality. These individuals are shallow, demonic, evil players. And of course, your ex is lowered also a player. So they all will be brought to justice. See, enemy. Your ex. Your ex is also here an enemy, a dumbass. Immature dumbass with a grandiose narcissism disorder and maybe some other disorder. So these two individuals, this couple, whoever they are here, the enemies, like, like I said, ex lover here involved. Nothing but liars. They're pathological, delusional liars. And on top of that, very sick. That's the problem, very sick. And who's at fault? Cops. Because they didn't check for credibility, for authenticity of the evidence. They, they believe these bullshitters. You understand? So there's still justice will be served. Because this is sound to me like a miscarriage of justice. And these idiots, they have to be brought to justice. See? Cheaters. Cheating again. Broken trust. Trying to punish you for what? Who the fuck are these two losers are to punish you for cheating? If somebody cheated on you, not meant to be, period. You're not entitled to punish anybody because somebody wanted to end a relationship with you. It means they're not interested in you. You're in no position to plot this revenge lies because you felt hurt. Or you felt betrayed. That's not how shit works. If somebody leaves you, it means they're not interested in you. And you are not special. You may be special in a mental institution, sure. We can get that strain out. But you are not special, you see. Big ego, no brains, no qualifications, no competency on any level. The only thing that these two lunatics ever capable of doing is bullshit about you and lie. That's all they, they, they can do. Okay? Lie, lie, and lie. Vacos. Really? Really? <clears throat> what else about these two <sighs> lunatics here? The bullshitters. Community. Yeah, they, they involve the whole community, like I said. The community spread gossips about you. Because they want to be felt, felt pity. Pity that they're so broken and you're such a mean person because you didn't want to be with somebody you're not in love with. They're turning out to be this cheater and a player. And turns out that they're the one that bullshitters and sociopathic tyrants, sickles and vacals. There's a level of sociopathic, delusional, grandiose, covered narcissists. And I hope this community that these lunatics bullshitted about you truly understand who these individuals are. And sees them for who they truly are because they're delusional. Delusional to think... That they have a right to punish you for their own fuck-ups. It takes two to end a relationship. Would anybody ever cheat on somebody that truly loved them? Chances may be 0.1%. If individual truly loves another, they're loyal. So right there, there is no love. 
Why are you trying to blame somebody else? Blame yourself. One bitch is a jealous, materialistic sicko. The other one incompetent, boneless loser. I'm saying it as is. A boneless loser. And yet both think of themselves as this grandiose superheroes. That they're so right and so just, but such incompetent, disbalanced, and sick individuals. And they lied against you in a court of law and, and commenced some sort of incompetent investigations against you based on bullshit. And it led to miscarriage of justice. So, of course, will justice be served? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's take a look, karma, for these idiots, two idiots here, two clowns that only give an idea of success and happiness and joy, deep down miserable and sick. D karma, three of swords, pain and suffering. Pain and suffering. If this is a couple, if this is a couple, and like I said, these lunatics at one, at any point, Interfered in your relationship and broke your relationship intentionally, they will be never happy. They, none of these two lunatics will ever find their true love. Devil stands here and there is an ending. If this is, like I said, a couple and a jealous, delusional, lunatic, materialistic idiot that was in competition with you for some delusional reason... Her happiness, her family, her contracts, her partnership, whatever the case may be, is coming to an end. She's going to have to walk away. And this is going to come from a high priestess. High priestess that is a given, a blessed, blessed person, protected person. It's going to come from her. Okay? From her. So there is an ending. If these two idiots, like I said, made a deal to seek revenge against you, they only made problems for themselves. Devil's here, okay? They played with the devil. Now devil, devil's here to collect, right? Devil's like, okay, well, I, I did you a favor, right? You did entertain me when you did all this bullshit and, and hurt innocent psychic here. We have high priestess and also an ace of cups. So you highly intuitive person, whether you are psychic or not, your intuition is on point. You will obtain victory by your intuition. So devil is like, okay, well, pay out. Pay. I helped you. I given you a deal. Now I'm here to collect. And they have nothing to give. Nothing. They already did the worst thing possible. So, of course, at the end of the road, once the relationship will end between these two, once the connection, this corrupt connection will end for these two and this whole community, the devil's going to wait at them at the end. They will walk out straight to the devil. And, of course, the death, death could be a physical death of some of these individuals. And, and death could also mean an ending, an ending. So who won? Truth won. Justice won. You won. That's exactly what will happen. Exactly. That's exactly what's happening. So they, I promise you, this is, this is done. This is done. You shouldn't be frightened of these individuals anymore. You shouldn't be frightened of them. See, courthouse. They're done. They're done. Courthouse. You're going to answer. You're going to answer. There is a two warrants here. Maybe even more. You lied under oath. You stole innocent people's identity. You fabricated evidence. You conducted this unreasonable delusional investigation because you were jealous and you wanted to seek revenge against innocent person. Are you sick? That's exactly how the court's going to look. You're done. They're done. Courthouse here. Final. Your status, your connection, your money, your grandiose, delusional, narcissistic, fabricated 
delusions is over. You understand? Over. Because court here is up for truth. And this privileged female here who sought privilege and another male who is a part of this community are all going to jail. You're not privileged. You're not above the law. Get it through your head. You're nobody. You are not above the law. Even if you were a Supreme Court judge, you're still not above the law. And it's a judge of a Supreme Court. You are nobody. But this female is so delusional. Delusional with her power and wealth that she thinks that she's special. I'm not going to be the one to break her bubble. But court will. Judge will. Okay? So there's an ending. There's an imprisonment for this whole sickos. Sick, sick, sick of the sickest. Okay? The end. The end. What else? Please don't lose hope. Please don't lose hope. You miss someone. Shall of grave what comes around. The three fates. Powerful personal growth. Well, what can I say for you? Do not lose hope. Okay, do not, do not lose hope. Okay, I feel like you have been in this position of, you know, shallow grave. You miss someone or you feel like you're, it's done. It's so, it's so outdated. It's not that outdated. It's the fact that this has happened such a long time ago that you started to lose hope. It's almost like, you know, like a bones, like a skeleton. You buried it. But it, it will, do not lose hope. It, it will be fixed you get what you deserve and of course there is a powerful personal growth for you so like i said maybe this situation does not matter to you maybe it doesn't but for uh, a police for judicial system for the law it still may it still may See, I have selenite, psychic insight, blessings, fidelity, and deep connection. So this message most likely, like I said, for someone who have psychic abilities. Your, your intuition, your psychic intuition is the fact that you were able to disclose up to the T of what is happening here. You yourself could be a psychic. But there is, like I said, jail for these two. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. And like I said, you may be potentially already now. See? Fox. Rider. Letter. And stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This situation, the fact that this situation, this miscarriage of justice, this corruption, this slander, this bullshit, is only leading you towards your success. And wish fulfillment. Letter represents contracts. Signing legal papers, potentially. Documenting things. Filing reports. Because there's a strong re-evaluation of everything that was done against you by these two lunatics. Meaning every single complaint, every single paperwork, every single evidence. Every single thing is going to be reassessed and re-evaluated. So at the end of the day... You're going to receive that wish fulfillment. See, they have a tower. You will be released. You will be given the key. Something will be judicially here signed, executed. You will be protected against this sickles that belongs in mental institution. For everything that they have done. Okay? So there is a protection coming in for you. Meaning it will be legally documented. You will be legally given back your rights or whatever it is that was taken against you it it it's not going to pass by you so such a reading this is what will wait for them the ending they should have never do this to you but they underestimated you that's the problem 
they underestimated you. What else is coming towards you? Forgiveness. Or well, maybe this ex will, will try to ask you forgiveness. Somebody is going to try to ask your forgiveness after they get to know the truth. Okay. If this is, like I said, this was this delusional, jealous lunatic, that privileged female that interfered in your relationship to break you apart. Looks like to me that after this is going to over because there is an ending of these connections. This sick, unhealthy, toxic, obsessive relationship. There is an ending to this relationship of this lunatic that, like I said, lied on you at a competition. So I feel like this person might have ret might return to you after they become aware of who you truly are to give you glory, right? To to acknowledge you. But you know, you're gonna say, mm, I'm I'm healed from this. I'm not interested to be with you anymore. Kind of thing. Okay. Because you may have already feelings for somebody else at this point. Yeah, you cannot trust him. You cannot trust him because you free yourself from this individual. You knew that this person have chosen some whore over you. That that person was not loyal to you. So you don't want nothing to do with them. See, you're cutting the rope. You're freeing, you're freeing yourself from this person. You free yourself a long time ago from this toxic person. From this betrayer and traitor and a cheater. You don't want nothing to do with them. Because deep down in your mind, you're going to remember how that this person treated you. That they betrayed you. Right? But I'm only here reading what is coming through. You were a lot more fertile. Like I said, you had, you were, you were honest. You were loyal to this person. Fidelity. Fidelity for you is most important. And you know that you can never trust this person. They betrayed you once. They'll do it again. So you're cutting them off and you're moving on with someone else. See? You're choosing someone else. There's some other man. There could be couple men here behind you, but you're choosing somebody else. Okay? All right, my wonderful collectives. This is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.